Well, let's bring you our first story. And um, a three hour downpour has since left some parts of the Tamale metropolis flooded and also displacing several residents and destroying its wake properties. Monday's downpour, which started about 7 a.m., filled the main trains in the Gumani, Kalariga, Naluru, Kuku, and other suburbs overflowed into homes. Major roads linking adjoining communities were being covered by the floodwaters. Even though the National Disaster Management Organization is yet to conduct an assessment of the devastation caused by the floods, residents say the annual flooding needs to be checked. The blame it on poor drainage system. I was lying with my husband when we saw the water entering our room. So we quickly got up and started packing our belongings. The authorities must do something about it. We need them to distill the gutters and construct bigger drains to control the flow of water. We are suffering. They described this year's floods as the worst in recent times. Meanwhile, civil society groups in the northern sector of Ghana, led by Star Ghana and Tama Foundation, have developed a sustainable flood management policy document to bring an end to the perennial disaster. The all-inclusive research-based policy document contains strategies for flood preparedness, weather warning alerts and training of volunteers. The executive director for Tama Foundation Universal, Dr. Chris Anab, revealed these in an exclusive interview with TV3 during a stakeholder conference in Tamale. Every year in and year out, people lose their livelihoods, we lose lives, livestock is lost. It's almost a predictable event, and yet we don't have any strategy to deal with it. So that's why we as Tama Foundation, together in partnership with Star Ghana Foundation, went around, did some good consultation to develop a roadmap for Northern Ghana to sustainably address the issues of flooding. He highlighted some of the key points in the strategic document. You will find strategies for flood preparedness, what we need to do to prepare year in, year out, including weather alerts to the flood prone communities and all that, and also training disaster volunteers in the various communities. In that document, you also find key strategic actions required to address issues of flood response. How are we able to galvanize the energies of the youth, the security agencies to be able to address the issues of the floods? For development expert and Catholic priest, Father Clement Apingo, effective use of the religious bodies and other expertise could help reduce the bedding and address the challenges better. The Catholic Church is present in every corner in Northern Ghana, in one way or form or shape. How do we use this infrastructure? together with the other faith-based organizations to develop a system that allows us to respond in very significant and immediate ways to the flood. So for me, I